A good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I am so excited to spend today's show with a truly, truly gifted artist. I'm joined this morning by legendary singer, songwriter, multi-gold and platinum recording artist, Paul Cotton. Now, among many things, he is most known for his time with the band Poco. He wrote that international hit, The Heart of the Night. We'll be listening to that at the end of today's show. Paul right now is living here in Key West with his beautiful wife, Caroline, and he's at an age where most men might like to retire, but he definitely, definitely hasn't stopped. Much to our delight down here in the Keys. He is still so busy writing songs, and when he's not doing that, he likes to spend time fishing, sailing, and of course, sunning. Mm -hmm. Paul, it's such a pleasure having uh, you here this good morning. morning. Thank uh, you. Thank you for having me. Now we're going to get into your career, Paul, but first mm -hmm. I want to find out how you mm -hmm. found Key West and why you made it your home. Ah, through my lovely wife, Caroline, who I met out in Oregon while I was on tour with Poco, just about back in 2005, okay. actually. And uh, we got, uh, I ended up uh, only meeting her very briefly there at the show. Mm -hmm. And she said, uh, well, uh, my, la my first name is Caroline, like the president's daughter, and the last <laughs> name is Ford. Like the president, and that's all I got from her. <laughs> but I got home to Nashville, where I was living at the time, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I decided to ask my bass player how I could Google her, and I did, and I found her. And she said, "Oh, you found me on my island," <laughs> and I was totally intrigued with that. And she ended up inviting me down here for about four days and showed me around and fell in love with the place and uh -huh. the music and the weather, of course, mm -hmm. and. Uh, here we are. Here yeah, you seven are. Seven years later. Okay, so yeah. that was 2005. 2005. And yeah. you said you were performing with Poco? Mm hmm. Okay. On tour. Yeah, okay. back in Oregon and uh, California, I believe we were. But, uh, that's where I met her. Okay. Yeah, followed do you, her down. Do you just love the Keys, Paul? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, very inspiring place mm -hmm. to be for me as a songwriter, and uh, can't wait to get the next album out here. Uh, had, had, several epiphanies of songwriting and okay. uh, and uh, that's that's my goal here okay I've been playing locally Paul how yeah. long have you been doing music have you always been doing it since you were a baby since <laughs> kindergarten yeah since kindergarten I played piano in kind musical kindergarten mm -hmm. I can't play it now but I went on to the mellophone which is a right-handed brass instrument kind of mm -hmm. curvy and you play it this uh, right-handed mm -hmm. then I went to French horn had a private tutor with from the uh, Chicago Symphony mm -hmm. for that, and I played that through high school. But in the meantime, in 1957 or 58, I took up guitar. Okay. Yeah. And that was what you were sold on. That's what. Yeah, it was easy and portable, <laughs> and and uh, I could sing with it on. You okay. Know, it's, it's the perfect instrument if you're a songwriter. Born and, and raised. Where born were you raised born? Born in Chicago. Uh, born in Alabama. Mm -hmm. Army brat, mm -hmm. and then back to Chicago, where I was raised mm -hmm. for 26 winters. Okay, too many. <laughs> too many, <laughs> too many. Now, did you always yeah. perform in high school, Paul? Yes, With yeah. the band, or? Uh, I had a band there in high school called the Mustwangs, which I named. We actually recorded an album for Mercury Records, mm -hmm. and uh, during my senior year, we had a single release worldwide, mm -hmm. and it was an uh, old Irving Berlin tune. Older folks would know who he is, but uh, uh, called Marie, and uh, it was released uh, worldwide. It was an instrumental. We didn't have but one singer in the band, and we only had a couple of original tunes, but that became uh, the song uh, released at the time. And they asked me to be in car clubs. I didn't have a car, <laughs> all kinds of uh, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> sororities and what have you. But, mm -hmm. uh, didn't do that. Didn't do that. <laughs> well, no, I was not chairman of the entertainment committee because <laughs> uh, I, was, I was a busy guy playing weekends at Record Hops, is what we call it, okay. Saturday night dances and around the Chicago area, Indiana. We went on short tours to Michigan and what have you, local. Mm -hmm. So, so stayed hot in the Midwest. Yeah, very hot. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to take a okay. quick break right now, Paul. Right. I'll be talking much more with you, though, all, all right. during today's show. And we'll be playing some of your songs as well. So stay okay. with us. There is much more to come. Mm-hmm. 